Well, I think you hit the nail on the head with the whole finding someone normal bit. Yeah, really? It's not that you're still running away from relationships, then? I don't run away. All right, I believe it. Oh, but I don't. In fact, my last girlfriend finished with me. <laughs> it's nothing to be proud of. Well, how about you? Married within 12 months, divorced within six. What's all that about? At least I've got the guts to give it a go. Didn't he wear leather trousers? And? Yeah, all right, I suppose. <laughs> we were having a good night. Yeah, you might have been, but I wasn't. All he kept saying to me is make sure they have a good night. But what about my night? What about me? No, I'm didn't. sick of it. You did. Oh, go to bed. You're boring me now. I'll sleep it off. But I'm not even drunk, though. And you know what? You always do this. You try and turn it round on me and it's you. And the way you are with your friends making me feel like a piece of shit no, all the time. Not. It is. You're paranoid. She's back about 12. And I woke up and it was 3 in the morning and she still wasn't back. So I began to worry. Okay, what did you do then? I tried calling the mobile and it just kept going through to voicemail. And then started ringing around her workmates. And her boss, I think she never even went. She wasn't there. <laughs> For the next thing I know is you're knocking on my door telling me that she found dead in the park and now I'm here and I don't get it. <laughs> Mr. Dunning, I told you that she'd been found dead. But I didn't say that. Where's he gone? I don't know, he ran off. But you've not phoned him? No, what the hell did you bring your car back in for anyway? Believe it or not, I've not done this before. But she could be dead. Yes, I fucking know. It wasn't my fault. Whose fucking fault was it? It was a hit and run. We fucked all of us.